I didn't notice anything because Josh was my first spawn so to me everything seemed fine but the paediatrician kept saying that there's something wrong he was delayed in walking sitting up speech so she decided to do a blood test um, and it said Duchenne muscular dystrophy <laughs> Duchenne muscle dystrophy is a progressive muscle wasting disease. It's a lethal disease, there is no cure for this disease. And it's caused by mutations in a, a, a large um, structural gene called dystrophin. So dystrophin is, is a cytoskeletal protein, it's described almost as, as a molecular shock absorber. So once you take this away, then every time you contract and relax your muscle, you actually start to tear the membrane of the fibres. But it also plays an important role in the heart and in um, the diaphragm, which is a breathing muscle. Um, and this is another area that's quite challenging for treating this condition because it's not, we're not just talking about the movement muscles but um, the heart and the diaphragm as well which are quite difficult to target. So it's a sex linked condition, generally men um, have Duchenne muscular dystrophy but women can be carriers of the condition. Um, so if a woman has, uh, is a carrier uh, she has a 50% chance of um, passing on the condition. So there's families who have histories of, of, of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, however, there's around a third of uh, um, the new cases that actually come from families who have no previous history of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So there's been some sort of spontaneous mutation in, in the boy's dystrophin gene uh, during development. We're talking about a spectrum of boys that have different mutations as well that cause the condition. But the average life expectancy is about 30 years old, I think. I'm a very, I like to plan things and that got taken away. So I was planning when they're older, what they'd be doing, walking down the aisle, getting married, having children, and all of that has just been taken away. I'm over the moon that there's people out there that are trying to find a cure for this condition because it is bad and it's, it takes children away too, too young. Even though they might not find a cure while Josh and Ethan are still here, for the next generation of children to help them, because no family deserves to lose a child. So there's a lot going on in the industry, it's a very positive time. Um, so there's one approach that we've been funding for over 25 years actually, from when it started in the lab, called uh, eutrophin modulation therapy. So the reason why we think it will work is that eutrophin is normally expressed in muscle, but it's in early developing muscle in the fetus where there is no dystrophin and then as, as muscle matures and you then find that you know, have dystrophin in muscle and, and eutrophin is still there but it's now in specialised places. So for these DMD boys who have no dystrophin they all have the normal functioning eutrophin gene. So what we're looking at is to be able to slow down this disease process or even you know maybe halt the disease process by having eutrophin present as a molecular shock absorber in all the muscles rather than dystrophin. Summit Therapeutics have now collaborated with um, Professor Dame Kay Davies who originally took this idea together and that just shows really the sort of positive impact of the pharma company has to drive this forward it can't always you know it needs to get from the bench side to the clinic. And I think because we're very focused on wanting to do this we're probably sort of more nimble quicker to be able to do that as a biotech companies per se. And then I think that then starts to interest the larger organisations, you know, the biopharmaceutical companies who start to see that I can see now there's an inroad into this disease because of the work from you know, the biotechs and, and also academic labs. Um, I want them to find a cure for boys and girls with Duchenne and to make a difference to their lives for not parents to lose their children so young. Mm -hmm.